Stitch and Lindy. Today I am making apple tarts. These are actually um, one point tarts. So if you're wanting a, a dessert, an option for say a potluck coming up for a dessert, um, maybe a different option or a lower point option for at any holiday gatherings, family gatherings for dinner. Um, this could be um, an apple pie um, option. So, um, what, let me show you so I can see what I've done. So I've started by, um, I have cored, peeled, and cut up three apples. Um, it's about one and a half um, cups. If you want a little bit more apples in it, by all means you can. And I've just added a couple squirts of lemon juice to it just so that they don't um, turn brown. So just a little bit. I, I'm not a lemon fan, so I only add a little bit. Um, and what you're going to do, get this out of the way. So what you're going to do is to this, you want to add, um, Actually, I'm going to get another bowl to add this to at first. I have found a sweetener. Um, I don't like to use a lot of sweeteners, but this I found. It's Truvia. Um, it's a calorie-free sweetener from Stevia Leaf, and it's zero. It's zero points. I have checked in the calculator to see how high it can go up, and it's zero. So... This um, is a good option if you're looking for um, lower points. Um, this, I don't see any sugar, alcohol, or anything in this. So, um, yeah, nope. So yeah, zero points for this. So what you're gonna first do is you're using two and a half teaspoons of sweetener or of Truvia. If you have another sweetener that you prefer, by all means. So two and a half teaspoons. And then you're gonna add half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is just like an apple pie. So whatever flavor profile you want to add to it, I'm just adding the basics for that and then just a bit of cornstarch to kind of give it more of that um, thickening so I am adding in a half a teaspoon of cornstarch okay so we're just gonna mix that Make sure all your cornstarch is broken up. So it's just adding a bit more of a um, cinnamon and apple. If you have apple pie spice, by all means, just add that if you want, um, instead of all the different spices. Okay, so I am going to add that um, to our apples. going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract again as all my videos I show I have white vanilla extract that's from Dominican if you can get your hands on this do so it's got so much more flavor than the artificial that we have here but any um, vanilla extract you can add so that's half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then you're gonna add just a quarter cup of water to give it a bit of moisture Okay, 
and you're just going to mix that all around. And this is just coating them. You don't have to add the water um, if you don't want to. It just kind of kind of gives it a bit more moisture to it. Um, you could add even just a couple tablespoons if you wanted to. So there's everything mixed. And what you're going to do is I have, these are wonton wrappers that I found, spring roll pastry. It's rooster, but any wonton or phyllo dough um, you can use. So I'm just using two of these. And what I'm doing is I've sprayed my muffin tin with um, just the olive oil spray. And I'm pushing down two of the wrappers. I've just kind of crisscrossed them. Let me back up so you can see this better. And I'm just pushing them down as best as I can into this. Um, however you want it to look. If you wanted to cut them a bit smaller, by all means you can. Um, I was going to do just one wrapper, but um, I feel like you needed a bit more thicker on the bottom. Sorry guys, something happened with my camera there. Um, so yeah, I have put in the wonton wrappers into these. So as you can see, they kind of puff out, so you gotta kind of push them in. But once you get your apples in, they will um, stay down. So now what you wanna do is just top them. I would suggest not using as much water because there's definitely a lot of liquid in this. So I'm just putting a spoonful of apples into each one um, just to get it held down as much as you can and then kind of go from there of how much more you want to add to each one. If you wanted to use just one um, phyllo wrapper, by all means just use one if you want your want it to be thinner. These are also another good option if you wanted to use like a ground chicken with a taco seasoning um, to make almost like a taco mini pies. That would be another good option. You could top with a little bit of cheese and some um, fat free sour cream. But these here are one point for each of these and that's with making 12. And if you've got some light whipped cream, either the aerosol or the Cool Whip, it is um, the light aerosol um, whipped cream is one point for up to four tablespoons. So you can get quite a bit out of it. If you go down to one tablespoon, it's zero points, but it is a fat and sugar that you're using so I would say count it as one point so if you're putting topping this with um, the light whipped cream um, I would count it as a two-point tart which I mean for a dessert is nothing so and it's it is a lighter option because the um, phyllo pastry is a lot lighter than an actual pie crust so that is another good option. If you guys have made any desserts or any other meals with the phyllo dough, let me know in the comments what um, you have used it for. What have you, what have you done with, with phyllo dough? I like these little wrappers, the, the sizing that I found, the spring rolls, because it is a smaller size, so you can do a lot more you don't have such a big sheet that you have to work with. And again, these are the same wrappers that I used for my spring rolls or the egg rolls that I made with the um, crack slaw in it. Now this, I used three apples for this. So it was roughly a cup and a half of apples. If you wanted a bit more apple filling in yours, by all means, you can stuff as much as you can into these. I'm just putting a little bit in these. I did also see another recipe that had almost like a cheesecake or custard type filling and then just top it with a little bit of these apples. So if that's another option that you could do as well. So there we go. These are all filled. So these I'm just gonna bake um, in the oven at 350. 
I'm gonna say 25 minutes, but give or take watch with your oven depending on how hot it is. Um, and just watch because you just want the apples you want to be softened and the phyllo dough just golden brown. So just watch it because it is a thin dough so you don't want it to burn. So I will pop these in the oven again at 350 and I'll come back show you the um, once they're done the final product and how long I actually bake them for. Thank you. Hi everyone. So the um, apple pies are done or the mini, mini tarts. So the crust is just golden brown and the apples are um, soft. A little bit of a bite to it but pretty well soft I baked them at 350 for um, 25 minutes if you want it a little bit longer you can just again watch your crust so that it doesn't burn um, I'm gonna top mine with the light whipped cream you can also do the light cool whip but one tablespoon um, between one and four tablespoons is one point of this so I'm just gonna add a small one tablespoon on top and if anybody else likes caramel as much as I do with apple pie, Smucker's has a no sugar added caramel sauce. So I am just going to drizzle some of this over top and one tablespoon is one point. So in total with whipped cream, caramel sauce and the tart, it's three points. So in my mind, that's a great dessert. So yeah. Um, if anybody else tries this, let me know what you think. Um, if you do like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If uh, you wanted to be alerted of any notification, any um, new videos that I'm posting out, tap the bell button and you will be alerted um, when I am posting them. If uh, you want to follow me on um, WW, my handle is Stitch and Lindy, and I will have my handles all at the bottom as well. And uh, my Facebook page is Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for watching.